top of the... We're in the top of the first inning. We're in the top of the first inning between the Hurricanes and the Bruins. It's currently the Bruins up to bat. It's their second baseman, Kyan Siktian. And he goes down on strikes for the first out of the inning. Rounder for True Thrash. He's going to get on over to first base with a single. As coming up now, it's the first baseman, George Williams. Williams, the first baseman. He hits this one into the outfield. It's going to get by the center fielder. Leave it. Leave it. And he's going all the way around to score. And he's safe at home in True Thrash. George Williams is going to get all the way to third base on that hit up the middle. Center fielder Levitt couldn't get to it. All right, this one is hit and it's caught in the left field. It's Tag 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 TC getting it, but it is going to be a run scored. George Williams coming on from third, and he's going to get the second run. The game scored for the Bruins. That was Easton Jerva. Now coming up to the plate, Ezra Amiri. And this one by Ezra Amiri is got by Peters, the third baseman. Peters just grabbed that line drive from third base to record the final out of the inning. Two runs scored by the Bruins. We go to the bottom of the first. Bruins leading the Hurricanes two to nothing.
bottom of the first inning, Bruins leading the Hurricanes two to nothing, and leading off for the Hurricanes, it's the shortstop John McGid. Takes the first pitch in. This one's grounded up the middle. Shortstop Thrash gets it. Throws over the first baseman Williams for the first out of the inning. 6-3 ground out for McGid. Thrash to Williams for out number one. Coming up now to the plate. First baseman left-hander Jimmy Moore. Moore takes the first pitch in the dirt for ball one. So we're in the game two of the semifinals between the Hurricanes and the Bruins. This one's popped up down the first baseline. Williams over to get it. And he's going to squeeze that one for the second out of the inning. So a couple quick outs here for the Bruins as they have a 2-0 lead over the Hurricanes. Now coming up to the plate, the catcher, David Mora Burnett. Maura Burnett with two outs, no runners on the bases for the Hurricanes. As he looks at that one, 0-1 oh, the count. Out in the outfield for the Bruins, behind the plate, Ezra Amiri. Over at first base, George Williams. Swing and a miss by Mora Bernat, and that's strike two. Second baseman, Kyan Sichtian. Shortstop, True Thrash. Third baseman, Easton Jerva. In left field, we have Max Crowley and Caden Desai. Center field, Taylor Desai and Jack McCann. And over in right field, it's Hank Friedel and Grayson McMillian. David Moore, Murnat, 0-2 the count for the three-hole hitter as he watches that one go by. Swing and foul this one to the backstop as Moore, Murnat stays alive here for the Hurricanes. Fouled it back to the backstop again by Moore Bernat. He's battling in there, staying alive, trying to get some runners on for his team. And swings, and this one's off the catcher, Amiri, into the backstop as he continues to foul these pitches off. And this one's grounded. The third baseman, Jerva, knocks it down but not able to field it cleanly. And that's Moore Burnett with an infield single. Moore Burnett with a two-out single to try and get a rally started here for the Hurricanes. Now step up to the plate. The cleanup hitter, Caden Peters, takes the first pitch in. As the previous game... We just saw in game one between the Dogs and the Wolverines, it was a 10-8 Wolverines win as this one shot into left field. Desai gets it, though. They're trying to get the runner at third, and the ball is past them. And coming around to score is Moore Burnett. And it's going to be Caden Peters at second off that hit into the outfield. The single fell right in front of Desai, and that gave enough time for Moore Burnett to come around and score to give the Hurricanes one run here in the in this first inning. Bruins lead two to one with two outs. Now up to the plate, Christian De La Mora looks at the first pitch in. De La Mora, the second baseman for the Hurricanes tonight. 
as he looks in for his pitch, and he hits this one down past the shortstop thrash, and it goes all the way into left field to Cy. Coming around third is Peters, and he's going to get gunned at home. He's out. Peters was coming around there, and he's trying to say that he touched the bag, but he did not. And that'll be it for the Hurricanes. Bruins get out of that one, only giving up one run. We go to the second inning. Bruins leading the Hurricanes 2-1. to one. Top of the second inning, Bruins leading the Hurricanes 2-1 to one as they hit here. They're going to be led off by their left fielder, Max Crowley. He hits this one down the third base line. Foul for strike one. And this one's hit down the third base line. Fair. It's going all the way into Harworth. And Crowley's on with a single down the third base line. Started out for the Bruins. Now coming up for the Bruins, the pitcher Austin Orr. He looks at the first pitch, runner at first is Crowley as the Bruins have a 2-1 lead. This one's fouled back to the backstop. Moore and Burnett trying to get to it, but not able to get to the ball in time. And he hits this one to the pitcher, and he's safe. Walker got there. So it ended up being a foul ball, is what he said. So foul ball, Crowley's going to have to come back to first. And Austin Orr is going to go back up to the plate. So the Hurricanes catch a break there as he was safe at first. Austin Orr coming around. And he hits this one now to the third baseman, Peters. Peters gets it, throws it over to second base. But it brought the second baseman off the bag. Oh, no, they're saying... He was out, okay. So it was a fielder's choice, or gonna be at first base, and Crowley is gonna be out at second on the force. Now coming up to the plate is Talon Desai, the center fielder for the Bruins. He fouls this one back for strike one. Bruins scored two in the first off two hits, a single by True Thrash and a triple by George Williams. Both those guys were able to come around and score a run as Desai fouls another one over the first base side. Is Coach going to come talk 
with Desai. Explain to him something about the pitch coming by here. And we're ready to go. As he watches that one go in. This one's fouled back again. Mora Bernat not able to get to it. And Talon Desai going to get another chance here. 0-2 the count. And it looks like one of the pitching coaches is going to come over here and explain something to him. I guess they're trying to make sure he's swinging the bat forward rather than up. But he nods his head. We reset. Talon Desai looks in and watches that pitch go by. Austin or at first, and this one's popped up. Foul now this time near the third base side. And Desai going to get another chance here. This coach tells him to choke up on the bat. The 0-2 pitch. This one's grounded fair. It's the third baseman. Peters running to it. He throws over to Moore at first, and he gets the second out of the inning. 5-3 ground out. For Talon Desai brings up the nine hole hitter Jack McCon. Jack McCon, center fielder here for the Bruins. Swings at the first one, strike one. Swings at the second one for strike two. Runner at second is Austin Orr. Could score a run here off a hit. Swing and a miss, strike three. McCon goes down swinging, and that'll do it for this inning. No run scored, one hit by Max Crowley, and we go to the bottom of the second. Bruins leading the Hurricanes 2-1. to one. Top of the or bottom of the second inning, excuse me. The Bruins leading the Hurricanes two to one, and the Hurricanes are up to bat. They're going to be led off by their left fielder Carter Harworth. Harworth's first plate appearance here. Swing and a miss from Harworth there for strike one. Go ahead and go over the Bruins defensive men here. Harworth swings and misses that one. Behind the plate is Ezra Miri over at first base George Williams. Second baseman Kayan Sikdian, or Kayan Sikdian, shortstop. True Thrash, third baseman Easton Gervais. Over in left field, Max Crooley as well as Caden Desai. In center field will be 
Talon Desai and Jack McCon. Jack McCon and over in right is going to be as that one is grounded over the shortstop. And that's going to be the first out of the inning. That was true thrash on that ground out there of Carter Harworth for the first out of the inning. And to end it out in right field, we have Hank Friedel and Grayson McMillian. Now up to the plate for the Hurricanes, their center fielder, Arya Tagdisi. Tagdisi swings at the first pitch for strike one. Bruins were able to score one. In the last inning, off three straight singles from Moore Burnett, Caden Peters, and Christian De La Mora. Now Arya Tagdisi trying to get this done for the Hurricanes, and this one's hit down the first base line. As Arya watches that one go by. 0-2 the count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Tag to see goes down. First strikeout of the game for the Hurricanes. That brings up to the plate number 16, Lincoln Walker. The right-hander in for his first plate appearance, and he looks at the ball in the dirt. If you missed game one, it was between the Wolverines and the Dogs. The Wolverines ended up beating the Dogs 10 to 8 in that one. As Walker fouls this one back to the backstop, 0 for 1. Walker swinging a miss there for strike two. Walker, the eighth batter here for the Hurricanes. Let's see, watches that one go in. Swing and a miss, strike three. Walker goes down. It's going to be a one, two, three inning for the Bruins as we go to the third. Bruins leading over the Hurricanes, two to one. Top of the third inning, Bruins leading over the Hurricanes, two to one. Up for the Bruins, it's their tenth hitter, Hank Friedel. He hits one over to the second baseman, De La Mora. He can't handle it, and Hank Friedel's on with an infield single to start this third inning. Good job by Friedel to put that into play. That now brings up the left fielder. Caden Desai. Caden, the left fielder, looks at the first pitch in. Desai with his first plate appearance on the day. Swings and fouls this one back to the backstop for strike one. Swing and a miss.
from Friedel for strike two. He's averaging on the year 156 coming into this game. As he watches that one go by, trying to make some contact here to get Friedel over from first base to second. Friedel also with a 156 batting average as Desai strikes out there. But Friedel's going to take the base and go to second on the strikeout from Caden Desai. So runner at second now with one out for the Bruins coming up now their 12th hitter Grayson McMillian is batting 103 on the day swings and misses this one in the dirt strike one Grayson McMillian, the right fielder, trying to get things going here as he fouls this one down the first base side, right next to, right in front of us. As you take a look there at number five, Caden Peters. And that's strike two. McMillian down to one more strike. Swings and fouls this one back. So McMillian doing a nice job of battling here. Continuing to stay on the ball. With an 0-2 count. As we see the Georgia Bulldog mascot coming by us that the Pee Wee Dogs had in their dugout during their 10 to 8 loss to the Wolverines who will face the winner of this game on Saturday. Swing and a miss, strike three for McMillian and Hank Friedel's gonna stay there. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for the Bruins, that brings up Kayan Sichtian. Sichtian averaging with a batting average of 646 coming into this game, an OPS of 1375. It's definitely someone that can put the bat on the ball here for the Bruins. Friedel over at second, swing and a miss. Strike one to Sichtian. This one's hit over the shortstop, McGid. McGid not able to field it. And they're trying to get him, and they're going to send him back to third, and he gets their safe. Really close play there. Third base coach was sending him, but Friedel didn't see. And then the last minute one to go, but at that point would have been caught on the, on the bag in the middle of no man's land, but got back to third base in time. That now brings up. True Thrash, the shortstop. So runners on the corners, Insictian and Friedel. Now True Thrash had a single back in the first. Thrash leading the team in batting average with a whopping 875 batting average. He swings and misses through that one for strike two. Don't think I've ever read an 875 batting average in my life. It's like 90%. You're getting a hit. Let's see if Thrash can do it here with runners on the corners. I'm sure that's a great nickname for his teammates in there, Thrash. Thrash on the ball. As Thrash goes down, swinging strike three. All outs of the strikeout variety here for the Bruins in the top of the third inning. We go to the bottom of the third. Bruins leading the Hurricanes two to one.
Bottom of the third inning, the Hurricanes are up as they tra they're trailing the Bruins two to one. It's going to be nine, ten, eleven hitters here for the Bruins. They're going to be led off by Juan Loretto. This is Loretto's first at bat here in the bottom of the third. Swing and a miss for that one. That's strike one. Three hits. For the Hurricanes back in the first inning, scored them one run. And since then, they have been shut out. As Loretta looks at that pitch in there, 0 2 the count. As first base coach giving them some encouragement there. And swing and a miss from Loretto. He goes down on strikes. Third strikeout in a row for the Hurricanes. That brings up the right fielder, number 31, Bobby Wilson, for his first plate appearance on the day. He looks in at the first pitch in the dirt. This has an interesting way he holds the bat as that one's hit over near us, near the batting cages over the first base dugout. Almost holds the barrel of the bat facing the pitcher. Very interesting stance here, not your traditional hitting stance. We'll see if it works for Wilson here. As he watches that one in. He is down in the count 0-2. He watches that one go in 0 for 2. Bobby Wilson just looking for that pitch to hit. And this one, he hits it right in front of the pitcher, gets up throws, but he's safe. Wilson runs out that infield single, and he's on first base with one out. That brings up center fielder Harrison Levitt. Levitt, the left-hander, standing in and takes that first pitch low. And Levitt fouls that one off. The left side, 0-2 goes the count. This one he fouls over that left side as well. Staying alive here with one out in the inning. Burns got things started with two runs and two hits back in the first inning. And the Hurricanes answered with one run and three hits of their own. 
since then we've been scoreless and that one's ripped up the middle by Levitt and sliding into second safely is Wilson. Nice single up the middle for Harrison Levitt, the 11th hitter for the Hurricanes. And now that brings up the 12th hitter for the Hurricanes, Dallas Mabry. He looks at the first pitch low. This coach going to give him some advice real quick here. Sure, it has something to do with how he's holding the bat, but runners on first and second for the Hurricanes, one out. A swing and a miss from Mabry. He's a little bit ahead of that one for strike one. Oh, one the count to Dallas Mabry. This one, he fouls off right in front of him. The catcher, Amiri, gets shaking up there. It's going to take a minute because I think he got some dirt in his eyes from that one. Coach going to do the old-fashioned spray some water in his eyes there. He's just going to do it in his hands and just going to let Amiri wash his face off, get that dirt out of his eyes. gets a hand of applause from the fans here. As he sets back up and ready behind home plate. O2 the count to Dallas Mabry. Runners on first and second, one out. Mabry watches it go by him. This time, I'm sure he's geared up and ready to hit it. And the pitch swung on, grounded to the left side. It's the shortstop thrash going to step on second base. The throw, he doesn't attempt to throw it first because it wouldn't be in time. And Mabry's on with the fielder's choice. Harrison leave it out at second. That brings up top of the order, the shortstop, John McGid. McGid watches the first pitch go in there. Hurricanes with runners on first and third, two outs, have a chance to score one here and tie it. He hits this one up the middle. It gets by the second baseman, Sichty, and into the center, er, into the right fielder, Friedel, and going around to score from first base is Dallas Mabry, and he's going to get in there to score. Bobby Wilson scoring from third, and Mabry. Going to be scoring from first. That puts two runs on the board for the Hurricanes, and they now have a 3-2 to two lead over the Bruins. So McGid with a nice hit by the second baseman, Sichtian, and he was able to score two. Brings up now the first baseman, Jimmy Moore. The left-hander swings at that one. And misses for strike one, 0-1 oh, the count. Moore flew out to the first baseman back in the first inning. This one's popped up over by the shortstop thrash. He's going to get over there, squeeze the glove, and record the final out of the inning. Bruins almost got out of that one without giving up any. But with that two-run double by John McGid, he was able to score two. 
and bring the Hurricanes up 3-2 to two now on the Bruins. You're listening to the Post Oak semifinal Pee Wee Little League game. Don't go anywhere. Top of the fourth coming up soon. Top of the fourth inning between the Bruins and the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes now have a 3-2 to two lead after a two-run double from John McGid, their leadoff batter, scored two there to end that third inning. Now up to bat as he hits one down the third base side. Now the shortstop McGid gets it. That's George Williams, the first baseman for the Bruins, running that infield single, running out that infield single. So Williams on first base with a single. Now that brings up Easton Jerva, the cleanup hitter for the Bruins. Williams over at first base now with a triple and a single on the day. Jerva flew out to the left fielder back in the first as he watches these two pitches go by him. Watches that one go by as well. Bruins now trailing the Hurricanes three to two. They did have a two to one lead through three and a half. And this one's popped up over into right field. The right fielder, Wilson, not able to get to it. And going all the way over to third is Williams. So nice single there by Easton Jerva. He hit that one over into the right fielder. Wilson not able to get to it. Now that brings up the catcher, Ezra Amiri, with runners on the corners and no outs for the Bruins. Amiri swinging at the first pitch and fouls that one back. 0-1 the count. Amiri coming into this ball game with a 578 batting average. This one... He hits into the outfield. It's right into that left and center field gap, and it goes all the way to the fence. Jerva around third, and he's going to go all the way home, as well as Ezra Amiri has a stand-up double. So two runs scored there by the Bruins, and Ezra Amiri hits in two as he is on second with a stand-up double. Easton Jerva was able to come around third and get home as the infield was distracted with Amiri at second base. And now the Bruins have a 4-3 to three lead on the Hurricanes. Brings up Max Crowley, the left fielder. Hit a single down the third base line to lead off the second inning. And almost the exact same thing now, but this one's foul. Interesting Crowley. A player to hit the opposite direction as the lefty stands in. Seen a lot of players pull the ball here tonight. But Crowley one to push, and this one pushes right there. Hits the shortstop, McGid, who gets it, but not in time. As he comes up, no throw even attempted as Crowley's speed just got him over to first base. That gets Amira over to third. And Crowley now with another single down that third base line. Four straight hits to lead off this fourth inning for the Bruins. And now that brings up Austin Orr. He got on base in the second inning due to a fielder's choice. A 
Four coming into this game with a 343 batting average. As he swings and misses through that one for strike two. Runners on the corners in Jerva and Crowley. And he pops this one over to the catcher, Maura Burnett, for the first out of the inning. So one out now for the Hurricanes. As coach is talking to the next hitter, Talon Desai. Desai coming into this game with a 351 batting average, very similar to Orr. And he watches the first pitch go by. The Bruins like to score a couple more runs here as the Hurricanes have been answering. So it's four to three. And this one's hit to the shortstop. And he got to first base. So it's, it's going to be a fielder's choice for Desai. Hits one over the shortstop thrash. He throws it over to the second baseman, De La Mora. And he's going to get on first with a fielder's choice. Max Crowley out at second base. But that does score Ezra Amiri for the fifth run of the game for the Bruins. They now lead 5-3 to three over the Hurricanes off that ground out. Now coming up to the plate, Jack McCon struck out back in the second inning and swings at both pitches. That one fouled back. 0-2 the count. This is the seventh batter the Hurricanes are facing in this inning. McCon swings and goes over to the third base. It's McGid who picks it up and throws over to the second baseman, De La Mora, for the final out of the inning. So McGid able to get them out of that one in that top of the fourth inning, but not before the Bruins scored three runs. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Bruins leading the Hurricanes 5-3. to three. Bottom of the fourth inning, the Bruins are leading the Hurricanes 5-3 to three after a three-run top of the fourth inning by the Bruins. It was George Williams, Easton Jerva, and Ezra Amiri all with hits and all coming around to score for the Bruins in that inning. Amiri with the two-run double to now bring the Bruins total to five runs. It's now going to be the Hurricanes' choice, the Hurricanes' chance here, as they have their catcher up, David Moore Burnett. Burnett had a single back in the first inning and scored the first run of the game for the Hurricanes as he pops this one over foul. That was thrashed, diving for it, the shortstop there. 
but just a little bit out of his reach. Two runs scored in the last inning for the Hurricanes. See if they can do it again as this one's hit down that third baseline foul by David Moore of Burnett. Burnett pulled the ball back in the first inning, grounded in that shortstop third base hole. So he watches that one go by. This one's ripped into left field. It looks like it's going to go over the fence and foul. Burnett needing to straighten up, but has put good contact on the ball in just these short swings that he's had. As the winner of this game goes on to play the Wolverines on Saturday for the Pee Wee Championship game. And this one's ripped. This one now fair down that third baseline. And Burnett going to come around first. Thought about going to second, but going to go back into first safely for a leadoff single. Now coming up to the plate for the Hurricanes, the third baseman, Caden Peters. He also had a single in the first. Grouted this one over to the third base side. Jerva gets it, throws over first baseman, but not in time. Peters runs through the bag safely. Nice speed there from Caden Peters to run out that infield single. That brings up second baseman Christian De La Mora. He also singled in the first inning, part of those back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back singles for the Hurricanes. They actually got out. It was Caden Peters sliding into home. He got tagged by the catcher Amiri to end that first inning. And De La Moore hits one over the pitcher. Or, and Or, not able to field it cleanly. And De La Mora at first in time. So just like the first inning, all the three, four, and five hitters for the Hurricanes all have singles to lead off the fourth. They ended the first with three straight singles. Now they're starting the fourth with three straight singles. See if they can score one here. It's Carter Harworth up to the plate. He grounded over the shortstop thrash to lead off the second. As Amiri getting settled back there. The catcher. And now he's set. This one's popped up into the infield. It's between the shortstop and second baseman. It's the shortstop thrash dri diving and getting it. And he just doubled off the guy at first. And that's going to be two outs there as Christian De La Mora didn't know he was supposed to come off the bag. But he came off, he came off the bag and did not tag up in time. So that was a pop out to thrash the, the shortstop by Harworth and then Christian De La Mora getting out at first on the, t on the force. It's gonna be the first double play of the game we've seen. This one's hit up the middle. The second baseman, Sikian, gets it, throws over and gets him out. Arya tagged DC. Close to running that one out, but the Bruins gonna get at that one unscathed. Wow, the Hurricanes lead off that fourth inning with three straight singles. Had bases loaded, no outs, and they come out of this inning with no runs. The Bruins leading the Hurricanes going into the fifth inning, five to three.
Top of the fifth inning, Bruins leading the Hurricanes 5-3. to three. They're going to be led off the fifth by the right fielder, Hank Friedel, who looks at the first pitch. What an ending to that fourth inning. Three straight hits from the Hurricanes, and then a double play and a ground out ended it without them scoring any runs. And this one get, gets run out by Friedel on the grounder, and he stays at first base safe. It's his second hit of the game there for Friedel. So he puts into play and gets on with a single. It's a 10, 11, 12 hitters on for the Bruins here. Coming up now, Caden Desai. Desai struck out back in the third. As he fouls this one over the first base side for strike one, 0 oh, 1 the count. So we have the Bruins leading the Hurricanes 5 to 3 after a wild fourth inning where the Hurricanes, three straight singles by David Moore and Burnett, Caden Peters, and Christian De La Mora. And then Carter Harworth popped it up and ended up being a double play as that one is just out of the glove of Peters, the third baseman, and it's going to be foul. Carter Harworth popped it over the shortstop, Thrash, and Thrash saw that Christian De La Mora was coming off first base and threw it over there and caught him for the double play. And tagged to see, grounded out to end the inning. This one's grounded over the third base side. It gets by the third baseman, Peters, into the outfield. And it's going to be runners on first and second with no outs. It's the bottom of the order for the Bruins getting it done here in this fifth to try and tack on a few more runs. Now that comes up. The 12th hitter, Grayson McMillian, went down on strikes back in the third. Bruins ended the fourth inning with three runs scored off four hits. See what they can do here in the fifth as they have a two-run lead over the Hurricanes 5-3. to three. And McMillian swings at this one, but it is foul down the first base sideline. And Desai going to have to run back over to first. McMillian swings at this one. It goes right to the pitcher, Loretto, and he throws over to first for the fielders for the first out of the inning. Runners advance to second and third now. It's now it's the leadoff hitter, Kayan Sikdian, on for the Burns. This one's fouled down that first base side. Sikdian coming into this game with a 646 average as he hits this one into left field and it goes all the way to the wall. That's going to score one. They're sending the second runner. Oh no, he goes back to third. Nice decision there. Hank Friedel's going to score from third base. But the runner from second, Caden Desai, is going to stop at third. And Kayan Sikdian is going to run into second base with a double. Sikdian with an RBI double scoring. Another run for the Bruins. It's now 6-3 to three the lead here in the top of the fifth inning. Brings up the shortstop, True Thrash. Struck out to end the third inning and had a single in the first. Thrash coming in this game with a whopping 875 batting average. His OPS 
is over 2,500, almost at 26. Gets a hit 87.5% of the time. We'll see if Thrash can score in some more as this one's hit. Lined right by the third baseman, Peters. Harworth, the outfielder throws in, and the out at the plate. What a play there. But they got Sichtian at the plate coming from second. He got out, but they did score Caden Desai from third. So now they're going to go to 7-3. to three. Really good job by the Hurricanes outfielder to get that out. That now brings up the first baseman, George Williams, as Thrash is in the third. Off that line drive hit he had down the left side. Brings up George Williams, and Williams lines one into that right center gap. Williams is taking off. He's going into second, or he's going to go back and change his mind. He's going to get another run scored here for the Bruins as Williams three for three on the day with two singles and a triple. So that's going to score Thrash from third. Bruins now with a 8-5 to five lead after three runs here in the fifth. They just had three runs in the fourth, and this one, another one hit up the middle. It's a center fielder tag to see, and he's taking off going for third and Williams, and Williams slides in safely as there was no throw attempted. Nice hit there by Easton Jerva. That now brings up Ezra Amiri, the catcher, and he's going to hit one over the left side, and they're going to throw over to second base for the, fir for the force out. 5-3 ground out for Amira. But not before the Bruins were able to score three runs there off six hits in that fifth inning. Three runs in the fourth, three runs in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. The Hurricanes have a chance to bat, but they trail 8-3 to three here in the semifinals of the Pee Wee Post Oak Little League. Bottom of the fifth inning, the Bruins leading the Hurricanes 8-3 to three in this semifinal game, the Post Oak Little League Pee Wee playoffs. It's Lincoln Walker on for the Hurricanes, struck out in the second inning. See what he can do to lead off the fifth as the Bruins trail by five runs. And this one he fouls over the first base side over by the batting cages. The count goes to 0-1. Three runs scored for the Bruins in the fourth inning and three runs scored in the fifth. It's going to be tough for the Hurricanes to catch up to that, but they did score one run in the first and two runs in the third. In the fourth inning, they had three straight singles 
and then a double play and a ground out ended their outing without any runs scored as Walker goes down swinging on strikes there. So one out in the inning for the Hurricanes. That brings up the number nine hitter, Juan Loreto. As he holds his bat high, Loreto struck out leading off the third inning. Swing and a miss for Loretto there for strike one. This one, Loretto went and got this one's popped up behind the catcher, and Amiri's not able to find it. It's going to take a bounce, and Loretto's going to get another chance here with two strikes. Loretto stares that one down in the dirt. And this one swung on and hit down to the shortstop. It's Thrash, and Thrash with an aired throw. Loretto's going to go into second base safely. And he's going all the way to third, excuse me. He's going to throw it over to third baseman Jerva, and Jerva's going to catch it. But Juan Loretta getting all the way over to third base off the grounder. Over the shortstop thrash, the air throw. And now Loretta's over at third, one out in the inning. That brings up the 10th hitter, Bobby Wilson. Wilson with a single and a run scored in the third. See if he can get a run scored here for the Hurricanes in the fifth. Swing and a miss there for strike one. Winner of this game will go on to play the Wolverines on Saturday in the championship game. This one's hit back to the pitcher and Orr thrown over to Williams, the first baseman, but they do get a run scored there off Juan Loretto's grounder that turned into a triple. Off the air throw from the shortstop thrash, they got him all the way over to third. He comes around scoring a run, and Willis is out with the ground out. So Bruins now leading eight to four. Brings up Harrison Levitt. Levitt hits one right up the middle in between Sikian and Thrash. And he's gonna be on with a single. So back to back singles for Harrison Levitt. He got out at second on the fielder's choice back in the third. Bruins leading the Hurricanes 8-4 to four. here in the bottom of the fifth inning. We will, we will go through six. It's going to be Dallas Mabry up for the Bruins or for the Hurricanes. He's also another one of the runs scored for the Hurricanes. She swings and misses that one. 0-2, oh, now the count. the fifth batter this inning for the Hurricanes as he pops this one over third base side foul. Runner Levitt going to have to go back to first and will reset as the Hurricanes so far through this game have 11 hits on only four runs. The Bruins, on the other hand, have eight runs 
through 15 hits. And this one's popped up into the infield. It's the shortstop Thrash getting it thrown to first, and he's out. What a play there by Dallas Mabry. Really thought he got that out. But it's going to be a ground out for Mabry, and that'll end the inning. One run scored for the Bruins there off a couple of hits. We go to the sixth. Bruins leading the Hurricanes 8-4. to four. Top of the sixth inning, Bruins leading the Hurricanes 8-4. to four. It's going to be the Bruins up to bat. They're going to be led by their left fielder, Max Crowley. The Bruins were able to get through eight batters in that last inning, scoring three runs off six hits. Crowley two for two with two singles on the day. He watches that one go by him. 0-2 on the count. And this one's grounded over to the left side. The third baseman, Peters, not able to field it. And it's going to be another single for Max Crowley. To lead off this sixth inning. That now brings up the pitcher, Austin Orr. Or 0 for 2, the fielder's choice, and a fly out in the game. Or hits this one down the third baseline. Peters grabs this one now, throws it over to second, and De La Mora for the force out. So another fielder's choice for Austin Orr. He's going to be on first. Crowley's going to be out at second. And there's one out now in the top of the sixth. Coming on to bat is Talon Desai. Desai 0 for 2. The ground out in the fielder's choice. And he hits this one over the third base side in Peters, but it goes foul. Desai with an 0 1 count. This one, Desai hits right back to the pitcher. Walker, Walker gets it, throws over to Moore for the second out of the inning. It's going to be a ground out by Desai, but he did get the runner or over to second base. Two outs, though, for the Bruins. That brings up their ninth hitter, Jack McCon. McCon 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a ground out. Hurricanes want to get out of this one without giving up any more runs. As in the fourth and fifth inning, they give up three 
apiece. Six runs total scored for the Bruins in the fourth and fifth as that's a swing and a miss by McCon for strike two. McCon watches that one go by. The runner on second is Austin Orr. And this one's grounded over to the third baseman, Peters. He grounds it, throws it over first base, but he came off the bag. Moore had to jump up because of the throw from Peters was a little bit too high. And now there's runners on the corners, two outs for the Bruins. So runners on first and third, two outs. Hank Friedel on for the Bruins. He's two for two with a couple singles in the ball game. Hank Friedel led off the fifth inning with a single for the Bruins for the Bruins in a run scored. And swing and a miss from Fredell on that one. That's strike one. Swung and a miss from Friedel on that one. That's strike two. Hurricanes would really like another chance here in the bottom of the six to catch back up in this game. And he's off. And he's safe. What a what a play there is. He just avoided the tag. That was Jack McCon with the steal there. And the catcher, Moore Burnett, able to get there, get the ball there in time. But he went around the slide. It's not going to matter, though, as Hank Friedel strikes out to end the sixth. No run scored for the Bruins. Off a couple of singles, we go to the bottom of the six where the Hurricanes have one last chance to score four or more here. Go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Bruins leading the Hurricanes eight to four. Bottom of the bottom of the sixth inning, the Bruins leading the Hurricanes eight to four, and the Hurricanes are down to their last three outs. It's going to be their leadoff hitter, though, John McGid, to get this inning started for him. That one's hit over by us on the first base sideline. McGid with a two RBI double back in the third as he hit lines this one down the first base line. It's gonna go into McMillian, who throws it over to Sigtian. But it is gonna be a single for John McGid as he gets that one down the first base line. Hurricanes have to score four here. If they wanna stay in this game against the Bruins. Score one in the first, two in the third, and one in the fifth. Now this is Jimmy Moore who hits one over the shortstop thrash, throws it over to Sichtian for the ground for the force out. No throw attempted by Sichtian as well as the Bruins trying to play smart here. Now only two outs away from the championship game between the Wolverines. Now coming up to the plate, the catcher, David Moore Burnett. 
two for two with two singles on the day. And he watches the first pitch go by. This one's hit down third base side. It's Jerva, the third baseman, knocking it down, but the throw is not going to be in time. David Moore Burnett had the speed to get down that first base line, and it's going to be runners at first and second now with one out. So the Hurricanes have a slight window here. So we have Caden Peters, the cleanup hitter, trying to hype up the Hurricanes fans here. As he's two for two with two doubles on the day. And both runners advancing to second and third on the pass ball. The catcher, Amiri, not, not ready for that pitch to come in. And Hurricanes going to take advantage of the misplay. So runners now on second and third with one out for the Hurricanes. Swing and a miss by Peters for strike one. This one, Peters grounds down the third base line. It's Jerva who gets it, and he's safe. Jerva, I think, maybe thought that the ball was foul or he wasn't going to have time to get Peters at first, and that's a run scored for the Hurricanes. The score now goes to 8-5, to five, and runners on the corners, one out. Now in for the Hurricanes, second baseman Christian De La Mora. De La Mora two for two with two singles, and he rips this one up the middle. Sitkin knocks it down, steps on the second base bag to record the second out of the inning. Moore Burnett coming around to score, though, from third. It's going to be Peters out at second, and Christian De La Mora getting to first on the fielder's choice. So Bruins one out away as they lead eight to six from seeing the Wolverines in the championship game on Saturday. It's Carter Harworth on for the Hurricanes to keep their hopes alive. As he fouls this one to the backstop. 0 for 0 and 1, the count. No, you're good. You're good. And this one's fouled to the backstop, strike two. Harworth 0 for 2 on the day. Grounded out to the shortstop in the second inning. Then was part of a double play in the fifth. This one's grounded over to the shortstop thrash. He flips it over to Sicky in the second baseman, and that'll do it. 6-4 ground out, and that's the ball game. So we watch the Bruins celebrate on the field here and all their fans coming on to cheer. What a ball game as the Bruins come away with this one, 8-6. to six. They led early 2-1, to one, and the Hurricanes answer in the third with two runs of their own and three hits to bring the score to the Hurricanes leading 3-2. to two. And the Bruins answer right back with three runs in the fourth and three runs in the fifth. And then shutting down the Hurricanes in the fifth and sixth inning, only allowing three runs. And the Hurricanes close, but just couldn't catch up. Eight runs on 17 hits for the Bruins, and they go to the championship game against the Wolverines. If you didn't catch it, Wolverines beat the Dogs in game one of this semifinal, 10 to eight. And then we just saw the Bruins take down the Hurricanes. Great job by both teams, all four teams that played today. want to thank everybody helping out here at Post Oak Little League as well as our production team here at Vipe, Suna, Gentry Williams, helping me produce both these games. Really appreciate everything you're doing here. The final tonight, we'll see you on Saturday. It'll be the Bruins and the Wolverines. But tonight, the final, Bruins 8, Hurricanes 6.